there are some people that can see spirits with their natural eyes. And every so often, I can too, but not as much as most, I guess. I don't know. When anything appears in your room, you have to be careful in the spirits that you speak to. Especially if they are taking the shape of your mother or your father or someone that you knew that died. You have to be careful. I know for myself, when anything appears in my room, any type of spirit or anything like that, I always assume that it is a demon. No matter what shape it takes, I assume that it is always a demon. So I am not going to be talking or messing around with any spirit trying to contact me because I am going to assume that it is a demon unless God or the Holy Spirit can tell me somehow that that spirit is of God. So I am going to quickly assume that what I am seeing is a demon and I am going to command it to leave unless it can somehow tell me or show me that it is of God. The reason why I am talking about this some people see spirits come into their room and they talk with them and take their advice and stuff like that and their life begins to become much more worse or those spirits are going to advise you to get into witchcraft or do some really evil things. Well, Kevin, how do I know if a spirit is of God or not of God? Well, if it is talking to you, what is that spirit talking about? Is it saying anything about God? Is it trying to elevate you much more in God? Or is the conversations about what that spirit wants you to do or anything pretty much about you in that spirit and nothing about God. If that is the case, chances are that spirit that you are speaking to is a demon. Because any spirit, any spirit of God is going to come to you with things that pertains to God. So if a spirit comes to you telling you to do this bad thing or something else bad, then you know that it is a demon. I pray that this makes sense. And you may think that I am wrong. You may think that I don't know what I am speaking about. Listen, if you continue to mess around with that demon, you see demons can take shapes of other things. Some people believe that all demons are going to take their real form with the horns and everything else like that. I have seen demons that don't have horns. Sometimes I see only the head.
from my understanding, if a demon is going to try to deceive you, why would it come in its original form? Let me say something. I don't know if I said this already, but I was having, a while back, I had this vision of God. And I knew for sure that it is from God because I usually have like visions and dreams about demonic stuff by far. So this dream that I had, I knew that it was from God. So in this dream, to make a long story short, I was contemplating on someone that I was dreaming about. I saw three angels in this dream and I was contemplating on like the main angel. And I may have contemplated on that angel a bit too much so from that day, from that day, and I forget how long, maybe a month or two. So that night I was contemplating on that angel. All of a sudden, <laughs> I am serious, I see this spirit appear right by my printer, maybe uh, five feet from me. And when I seen that spirit there, it looked almost the same as the angel that I saw in my dream. So I was thinking, is this the same angel? But I could tell that something was off. Yes, it kind of looked like that angel, but at the same time, I'm thinking, I don't think it is. Like, I'm not sure, something seems weird. So, with like five seconds or 10 seconds of trying to figure out if this is the angel I seen in my dream or not, I was like, wait, demon, I bind and cast you out right now. I believe I said it maybe three or four times. And after the third time, that demon left. That demon took just about the exact form of that angel that I dreamed about. Pretty much the exact form, but I knew that something was off. I'm like, no. Like, it is hard to explain, but I could tell that something was off. What if I would have talked to it? Who knows the chaos that would have happened from speaking to that demon? Even though its appearance looked pretty much the same, pretty much the same, but I knew that something was off. So as I stated earlier, I believe, if you are not sure if that spirit that you are seeing now or see often is of God or not, assume that it is a demon and cast it out. Rebuke 
rebuke that spirit and see what happens. Tell that spirit to leave. If you are not of God, I command you to leave right now and continue to say that and see if it leaves or not. Because a uh, spirit of God is going to come to you or speak to you things that pertain to God, not things that or only things that it wants to speak to you about. No, that spirit is going to come in the name of God if it is of God. One easy way to know that if a spirit is a demon or a spirit of God. You can't go by the way that spirit looks because as I stated before, spirits can take other shapes and forms. So what is the reason why that spirit is there? Like, what is that spirit trying to talk to you about? Anything of God or anything about itself or about you or is it trying to make you prideful or bring some other bad attribute out of you? I pray that this makes sense. So everything you see is not an angel or anything like that. You, you have to test out that spirit. If you don't, my Lord, bad things are going to happen. As I stated to you, anything that appears to me, especially in my room, I am going to assume that it is a demon right off the back. So somehow it would have to prove to me that it is of God if the spirit is of God. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.